Next, let me show you how to keep other devices secure too. NordVPN works on mobile devices, gaming consoles, and even smart TVs. Most of the time, you can just search for it in your device's app store. But for guaranteed security, it's best to grab the official download link directly from NordVPN's website. On your phone or tablet, go to nordvpn.com and then log into your account by tapping the hamburger menu at the top right and then tapping login. Follow the prompts to get logged in. Then once you land on your Nord account page, tap the hamburger menu in the top right again. Select downloads. Then the relevant download for your device should appear. Tap the button to download it and then follow the prompts. On an iPhone like this, it routes me to the Apple App Store. Normally you might see a get button, but since I've downloaded this before, I have the cloud download icon and then I can tap open. The NordVPN app will open on your phone. Go ahead and follow the prompts. I'll tap accept. And then you'll need to log in. Tap the login button. And then log in to your Nord account. When you're done logging in, it may ask you if it can send you notifications. Go ahead and tap your preferred setting. I'll tap allow. And just like on a computer, I can click quick connect to launch the VPN. The first time you launch the VPN, you may need to give your phone additional permission. So follow the prompts to get that set up. I'll tap, got it. And then allow. Here I need to enter my iPhone passcode for verification. And I got a prompt to enable threat protection, so I'll go ahead and enable that. And I'll reconnect to apply the changes. And just like that, I am connected to a VPN on my phone so that I am browsing safely no matter if I'm on Wi-Fi or on cellular. Just like on the computer, all the same settings exist, so you can go to the profile on the bottom right and then open up settings with the gear icon in the top right and dial in your auto connect settings. Again, if you want to connect to a specific server, you can do that here too. You'll notice though, by default, it's zoomed out on the United States and it looks like it's coming from the center of the United States. But if you zoom in, you can actually see which specific server you're connected to and you could tap. So here I could connect to Dallas. There we go.